1997, October 1st, the end day. Savage war engulfs the world. Civilization is destroyed. An evolution has taken place. Earth's access is shifted, and all creatures became mutated. Life would never be the same. Those surviving vowed not to repeat their mistakes of the past and erected a great tower in the sky. To oppress evil forever. Crystals. A hundred years have passed, most of the Earth has become dominated by mutated creatures. People worked together to rebuild their villages and their lives, but still they lived in fear. As they feared the rebirth of evil, they remembered the construction of the tower and its consequences once activation had begun. Once evil emerged, would they still stand a chance? There was still one. Wow, that was ten years ago. This channel is quite older than those ten years as well. Hello, I am Kalar Miyadaya, and this is Life of Games. It's important for me to return to this series after so long, because the profile of gaming has changed over time. I had given it a shot ten years ago, and of course, much like any other project, distractions of real life took priority, and of course, the effort waned in regards to versus real life. But with so much changed in the gaming industry these days, it was important to take a look back. Obviously, the gaming sphere has become worse in several ways. Far more than just shovelware titles you had to look at and ignore. Nowadays, games can be addiction engines designed purely to capture your attention non-stop and bleed you for money all the while. But there's still good, passionate games in the AAA and even AA sphere where people are putting their heart into it. These are typically inspired by the classics, so these will also be included in the series. More importantly, this explores the games that served as my guide, my exploration in the different aspects of life that gaming revealed to me. The joy of adventure, especially for one who could afford little else. Friendships and shared experiences, much like one with a book club. But nowadays, those experiences are more video and interactive. And in the teaching of perseverance through the hardest points of life. So join me as I return and finish the first series of Life of Games, Crystallis. My intro to this game was rushed due to the way the script was being written on screen, so let's do this once more with feeling. The end day has come. Mankind, in its own hubris, laid waste to their civilization, utilizing weapons so powerful they altered the very fabric of the elements. The world was transformed beyond most recognition. Its very access was shifted, mutating all creatures that had survived the devastation. There was no going back. 
the planet and all upon it would never be the same. The descendants of the very scientists that had developed the element-altering technology, having witnessed what evils mankind had brought upon the Earth, vowed to never allow man to wield such immense power for evil again, no matter the cost. As a failsafe to mankind's inevitable desire for power, these survivors erected a tower to the skies as a sentinel against the mistakes of the past. To oppress evils rise forevermore. Now, a century later. The planet has reasserted its rule. Humans are no longer the apex species, and mutant creatures now roam the lands, dominant. The survivors have managed to rebuild, scraping together meager but peaceful lives and villages, but fear loomed over them still. For many have not forgotten the tower that roamed the sky above, the ultimatum it represented if evil were to ever rise again in people's hearts, and the consequences it would have to the world if its activation would ever be triggered. Once evil re-emerged, would humanity still stand a chance at surviving the retaliation? None were confident if so, and yet, there was still one hope. here. If you can hear me, things have gone much worse than we thought. I know this will all be very confusing for you, but it's important you try to remain calm. I don't know what world you'll awaken to, but humanity is relying on you to be strong. I've no time to explain. You must find the one who dares your sleep. Without you both, all is lost. Look out the thoughts. They're the key to all of this.